All right, what's up, YouTube? Sky, that one guy here, and we are here today with the Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge Booster Box opening. So, should be pretty exciting. Um, the main card we're looking for is number 75 uh, Bamboozling and uh, uh, the Cyber Dragon Secret Rare. And uh, uh, yeah, there's, other, there's some other good stuff in here. Game Seal, Game of Seal. Oh, Brilliant Fusion just got up, just went up to uh, like 10 bucks recently. So, yeah, there's some really good pulls in here. So, let's uh, stop talking about it and uh, get right in it. And actually, hold on one second. Unprofessional unprepared box opener here didn't have my cameras ready or my scissors ready for the camera okay so we are in it so again uh number 75 is just got bought out not too long ago and uh it's pretty expensive now so i think it was like 30 or 35 bucks i could be wrong guys don't don't quote me on that so there's the box battles of legend relentless revenge we have our 24 packs here. We're gonna start on the right side and we're gonna put that right, I don't know, we'll start it there and I might move it. All right, so there's a ton of really good cards in this set. So uh, there we go, we already hit a, if I remember right, this is at least $5. So we already got, that pack was our money's back at least. Uh, so Trickstar Reincarnation, great secret rare start. Unizombie, pretty good ultra rare. So definitely a hit with the reincarnation. And uh, we were able to buy this box at a pretty good deal online. So I didn't uh, pay a whole lot for it. But uh, yeah, I thought it'd be fun to open and thought it was perfect timing with the uh, buyouts of Brilliant Fusion and number 75. Prince Sezen. Unending. All right, so for now I'll pull all the secret rares out, but uh, once we get further in, I might just keep out the notable ones. But yeah, so yeah, got this price. This box is a pretty good price, and I uh, thought it'd be fun to open. So figured, why not? Number forty-one, Baguska, pretty good ultra rare. All right. Hopefully we can get another hit like that reincarnation, that'd be nice. Alright, oh there we go. Boral Guard Dragon. That's not not one of the most expensive ones, but still a good one. Still a cool one to pull. Alien Summon Dice. Kyoto Waterfront and Litmus Doom Swordsman. So these are pretty good packs. They're all hollow ultra rare packs. Five cards per pack, not too bad. Glass slippers is a secret rare. I don't know how I feel about the secret rare being in the front. Iron Cage pre prep, that's a good ultra rare. Noble Knight Brothers and Side Frame Driver. So I don't know how I feel about the secret rares being in the front of the pack. Kind of ruins the suspense for me, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, I guess it's either way you're going to get it. So. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely enjoy this set. This is a uh, that one. That one opened weird for me. This is definitely a good set. Um, Infinite Machine. And uh, yeah, so it, it was already a good set. Trick Clown, Solemn Judgment, Dark Lord Nastin, and Narcissus. But um, yeah, when it first released, I already thought it was it was a pretty good set. And then. Uh, just getting the some of the more recent buyouts, um, Bagu or not Baguska. Yeah, number 75, Gossip Rain Shadow. I don't remember its name. Number 75, we're just going to refer to it as number 75. Once that got bought out to, uh, I think it reached like 40 or 50 bucks, but I think it settled down at like 30 or 35. Wow, this pack is not opening. Failed pack openings. But once that got bought out and... Uh, once Brilliant Fusion got bought out, then I thought this set was a lot better. Triggering Worm, Banishment of the Dark Lords, Iron Hans, TG Wonder Magician, and Dark Lord Contract. So it already had some good, good value, but those two really kicked it over the top. So 
once you have a card that's almost your money's worth back in a box, then it's definitely worth it. And if I remember right, these were 50 or 60 bucks a box on eBay before the discount that I got around the holidays. So, so uh, being able to get most of your money back on number 75 would be pretty nice. Glorious Numbers is the Secret Rare. Foolish Barrel Goods. Idaton. The Conqueror. Conqueror Star. Cyber Dragon and World Legacy Hearts. Sorry, I don't think I've ever read that one out loud. Or maybe at all. Um, I've definitely seen it, but I don't think I've ever actually read the name. Okay, Battles of Legend, Relentless Revenge. We're getting close to being done with the right side. And there's a hit. There we go. Monster Reborn. Definitely a very good seek rare. I believe this one was in the $4 to $5 range as well. So very happy with that. Oh, bump in the camera. All right, we'll put that there for now. And Narito, the moral leader. Uh, everyone at my locals calls that guy Dorito for some reason. Or I guess not everyone, but there's a few people. Tenma, the Sky Star, Pumpkin Carriage, and Born from Draconis. I'm sure you guys all have people at your locals that make up names for random cards like that. All right. Ugh. These packs sometimes they sure give me some troubles. All right, Tornado Dragon. There we go. That's another good one. Pretty solid pull. Uh, let's see where can we put this guy? We'll put him right there for now. Eater of Millions, Yuna Zombie. That's another decent one. Alter Guys Hexia and Kaiki the Unity Star. <clears throat> All right. Infinite Machine is the Seeker Rare. Unending Nightmare, Torrental Tribute, Convert Contact, and Shura the Combat Star. So I'm going to start setting the Seeker Rares there. I think we got a little off camera here. Oh, that's actually our second Infinite Machine. I didn't notice. Okay, so last pack for the right side. Wish, uh, or wish me luck, guys. And uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. I've got a lot coming in the near future. I have some Hidden Summoners boxes to open, more Soul Fusion, and uh, some Legendary Duelists. Uh, I just ordered some Duelist Saga, so lots of good openings coming soon. Um, Merlin is the Seeker Rare. Neo Spacian Grand Mole. Noble Knight Madrot. Gaia Saber. And Bottomless Trapple. All right, you guys, so we are on the right side. I keep bumping the camera. I'm at a little bit of an awkward angle here. So, or was that the left side? Sorry, that was the left. So we're going to the left side now. Sorry. Mixing my uh, words up here. Mix my directions. So pretty good, uh, pretty good halfway points so far. Reincarnation and Monster Born and Tornado Dragon are definitely our three best cards so far. Hopefully we can uh, hit, hit some strong stuff on this half. I'd like to see some brilliant fusions, or at least a brilliant fusion, and maybe a number 75. That would be amazing. And nope, we just get empty machines again. Is that? Oh no, the other one's infinite machine. Okay, so it's not a double, so that's all right. Empty machine. And Rito, Slash Draw, Kaiju Files, and Hayate. So yeah, pretty excited about the boxes I'm going to be opening up soon. Uh, the Duelist Saga should be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I haven't opened up the Legendary Duelist before. It's the one with Bingo Machine Go in it. So that should be pretty fun to open. If, if we can pull Bingo Machine Go, that'd be nice. Living Fossil. All right, there's another good Secret Rare. Pretty cool artwork on that. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good hit. So we'll put that one here for now. All right, and Litmus Doom Ritual, World Legacy Discovery, Iron Knight, and Neo Spacian Air Hummingbird. Okay, if I remember right, that's actually a hit for the Ultra Rares. Um, let's reorganize a little bit, you guys. So, got our packs here, Ultras here. I'm going to clean up the Secret Rares for now. 
I'll do a recap at the end, you guys. So we got our good stuff here. And we have, let's see. 10 packs left. Perfect. So that's a good, that's a good amount left, you guys. Let's get right into it. 10 packs left. Can we hit a Brilliant Fusion or a number 75? Oh my gosh, no way. We actually did it. We actually did it, you guys. Number 75, Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. There, I can't can't forget the name now when it's right in front of me. Awesome. So this is exactly what we were searching for. This is what we were on the hunt for or trying to get. This uh, pretty much paid for our box uh, for the most part. Not, not entirely, but a very good portion of our box. So that was a really good pull. I was, I was getting a little worried there towards the end, but um, I kept faith and uh, he showed up. So definitely some good artwork on this card. Look at that. That is crazy. Look at the background. It's got the artwork to back up the price and it's definitely got the effect. So, all right, that was our best pull so far. And that's actually the best, uh, the best card we can get. That's the best card in the box as far as value is concerned. So we accomplished our goal and we still have nine more packs to go. Oh, and it came with a soul and strike. Wow. That was a good pack. All right. Sweet. Cyber Larva, Dark Lord Contract, and Trick Clown. We already saw the Trick Clown, but... Whew, that was a really good pack. Okay. Wow. Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. Sweet. Number 75. Alright, the only thing that could make this better would be... Uh, Brilliant Fusion, or... I'm pretty sure Golden Castle was in this set. I'm like 90% sure. Yeah, that was what sold this set when it first came out. So it's definitely in here. Flying Elephant. Okay, that's actually... It's not crazy expensive, but it's better than some of the others. So that's actually... Uh, we'll call that a hit. That's that's a hit in my eyes. Alright, Gabriel on the Time Lord. Altergeist Manifestation. Duelist Alliance. And Litmus Doom Swordsman. Whew, looking pretty good, you guys. Looking pretty good. Oh, knocking cards over. That's what we do. It's all we do. All right, let's get right back into it. Whew, feeling good. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm pretty excited. Number 67, there we go. Pair a dice smasher. Whew. All right, pretty good. Pretty interesting artwork on that. The dice looks pretty cool. Sweet. Uh, pull that out for now. Preparation of rice. Summon Dice, Side Frame Driver, and Bottomless Trap Hole. All right. Thought I was mixing up my piles there. Okay, so 13 minutes in. We have six packs on the table and then the one I just opened in my hand to go. And another 67. All right. Didn't we, did we just open that? Was that our most recent pack? Did we just back to back that? I think we did. Could be wrong. Could have been a pack before. Soul and Judgment. Uh, Cephion, Cephalon. The Ultimate Time Lord. TG Wonder Magician. And Gaia Saber. Alright. Still feeling pretty good about that number 75. Still pretty hyped about that. So, yeah. This box is already a payout. This is already a hit. We are uh, in the green. We are happy with our pulls. And Union Hanger. Alright, so... This has gone down a little bit, but I think it's starting to creep back up now, so pretty excited with that one. That's a, definitely a hit as well, so doing pretty good. Uh, number 41, Baguska. Uh, Py Pyrorix, the Elemental Lord, Neospacian Dark Panther, and Noble Knight Brothers. Alright, five packs left. Can we see a Brilliant Fusion, uh, Golden Castle... Uh, let's see, I think there's a Dragonic Diagram in here. Um, what else are we missing? I uh, guess we'll have to find out. Glass Slippers, alright. Uh, it's not the best pull, but uh, we're still pretty pretty happy overall. Neo Spacing Aqua Dolphin, okay, that's better than the Secret Rare. That's a, that's a hit. That's our second Aqua Dolphin. That's a hit. It's a good pack. Pumpkin Carriage, Trickstar Narcissus, and Cyber Eltonin. 
last four packs. Can we get something good? Try and end in this video strong. Hope we can get a couple more hits. And iron draw. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Machine card. Iron cage. Tinma the Sky Star. The Kaiju Files and Damage Juggler. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Three packs left. Alright. Come on, Brilliant Fusion. I guess I can see why Brilliant Fusion's uh, actually holding the price. I thought after the buyout it would go back down, but I guess if it's this hard to pull. All right, number 90. Hey, that's a good one. That's a that's a decent one. Didn't we haven't pulled that one yet, so I'm happy with that. And our piles are getting a little large here. Go ahead and set him there for now. All right, torrential tribute slash draw. Uh, Mission, the Time Lord, and Kyoto, Kyoto, yeah, Kyoto Waterfront. Last two packs, you guys. Feeling pretty good about this box so far. The ratios are not exactly as I expected. This is, uh, I think this is the first box I've ever opened of this. I've opened a decent amount of packs, but I think this is the first uh, actual sealed box. And uh, like I said, I got it at a pretty good price on uh, eBay. Thanks to all those crazy Christmas deals they were doing, the 10%, 15%. Oh, there we go. Gamma Seal, or Gami Seal, or however it's actually pronounced, I'm not entirely sure, but a very good Kaiju. The Sea Turtle Kaiju, very good. Uh, I believe, at the time of recording this, this is like 6 bucks, but uh, definitely has potential to go up. Very good card. Used to be very used. Uh, still used somewhat decently, but not quite enough, so... We'll see what happens with that. Um, yeah, pretty. That was definitely a hit. That was a really good pack. Uh, definitely good with that as our secret rare. And uh, my camera is having some trouble focusing. World Legacy Discovery, Litmus Doom Ritual, Dark Lord Enchantment. Pretty interesting artwork there. And Iron Knight. All right, you guys. Last pack. Uh, no matter what's in here, I'm happy. We uh, we had a good box, so. Hopefully we can end it on a good note, get some icing on this uh, cake, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, get, the, get a nice topping on here. And of course the very last pack has to be complicated for me to open, right guys? That's what my channel's all about. Alright, here we go. Alright, Silent Boots. Okay, I kind of forgot these were in here. Surprised I only pulled one, so. One Secret Rare Silent Boots, Phantom Knight of Silent Boots. That's definitely a, that's a hit as well, so that was a, that was a good last pack. Iron Hans, Foolish Burial Co Goods, the card that's been reprinted a million times, Convert Contact, and Kaiki, it's a Unity Star. Okay, so that was a great box. That was, uh, wow, that was really good. So uh, let's, um, let's pile everything up real quick, and uh, we'll do a recap. Let me get it all situated. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and do a super quick run through this. This is a lot of stuff, so I won't take too long. But uh, for anybody interested, just, as, just so you can see the ratios and stuff, we're going to kind of just pan through all this. Um, but yeah, so it was a pretty good box. Uh, definitely definitely a great set. A lot of uh, undervalued stuff in here. Trent, like all the staple foil. I mean, I know they're not staple in the meta, but a lot of playable cards. You know, Baguska, that's another undervalued card in this set soul and judgment lots of cheap cards that uh definitely have potential in this set so definitely excited anytime you buy this box i feel like you can't too, lose too much i mean you're i mean unless you don't need all this bulk which uh is, is the scenario for some of us but you know it's great for building a trade binder it's great for uh you know just sitting on some of this stuff and holding on to it you never know what's going to happen in this card game so and uh, the Baguska, or not Baguska, <laughs> the number 75 just really just made it just way, way above what I expected. So this was definitely a hit. And uh, we're almost done going through all the ultra rares here. And then we'll do a recap of the secret rares and the cards that were um, money cards or good, good cards or cards that I was excited about, I guess. So it's Dark Lord Nastin.
We didn't pull an X-Gel. That's kind of a little disappointing, but not that big of a loss. Side frame drivers. I think we pulled a few of those. Another Baguska. All right. <clears throat> Unizombie. All right. So that was all the ultra rares except for the ones that we pulled out. Here's the few secret rares that I didn't think were that exciting, but still cool. Iron draw glass slippers. Merlin, actually, that one's not too bad. That could have been worth pulling out. I'll have to go through some of these prices. Boral Guard, that's a decent one. Yeah, I'll have to go through some of these prices and, uh, or these cards and check their prices. All right, so here's all the good stuff. So, Gamasil, Camisil, however you want to pronounce it. Union Hanger, Flying Elephant, Tornado Dragon, Trickstar Reincarnation, the very first pack, started out strong. And uh, that's kind of funny, Silent Boots, I think that was our last pack, so the first pack and the last pack somehow ended up together. Uh, number 67 is two of them, Monster Reborn, Living Fossil, and the hit of the video, the one I was most excited about, the one we were looking for, the one we were on the hunt for. Number 75, Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. So that was the highlight of the video. That was definitely what made this box worth it. And then the last secret rare is number 90. And then one Solemn Strike and... Oh, you know what? I, I confused Air Hummingbird for Aqua Dolphin. <laughs> I bet you guys are going to make fun of me early in the video. For some reason, I thought I pulled two Aqua Dolphins. Yeah, this is the one that's worth something, not this one. Weird. I don't know how I mixed that one up. Getting a little too excited about our number 75. We lost focus. All right, so that was the recap, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we, we hit we hit gold. We, uh, we got what we wanted. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please drop a like and a uh, comment. Let me know what you thought about this box and what you think about this set. And uh, if you've had any luck with this set in the past yourself. So let me know. And then I'd really appreciate it if you could also subscribe. And uh, check back later for more future videos. We have some great box openings coming soon. Or I guess I have some great box openings coming soon. Uh, yeah, uh, the Duelist Saga is probably the one I'm most excited about. We'll be opening up a good amount of that. So check back later for that. And oh yeah, and I totally forgot to say um, Happy New Year's everybody. I hope you had a great New Year's. Um, yeah, kicking off New Year's strong with uh, number 75. Um, yeah, I should have opened with uh, the New Year's thing, but I completely forgot until now. So, happy New Year's, guys. I hope your holidays were great. Uh, I hope everybody's kicking off the New Year's strong. And uh, if you guys have any New Year's resolutions or anything, you know, let me know. Drop them down in the comments. So, thanks again for watching, and have a great day.